Hello, my name is Elliot Chulove, as you may know, and I am here to show you how to do the Trulove pinwheel knot. As you can probably see, I don't have my mustache anymore. Um, all good things must come to an end. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh no, his gentleman card's been re revoked because he no longer has a mustache. But hopefully that's not true. Hopefully I can be a gentleman without one. Uh, let me now break it down how to make this. If you don't know how to do the true love video, true love not, refer to my other video where I did the true love knot, where I show you how to make it. And I'm going to show you how to make it in this one as well, but this is an added step. Let me take my jacket off. This adds a step to it. This makes with a striped tie, a pinwheel, as you've seen already. Now, let's deconstruct the tie now. Now, as you can see, it's a bit above my, when I'm standing up, it's a bit above my belt line. Cross over the back on through the top around the front and through, I mean around and through the top again and then around the front. For those of you who've seen the video before this looks familiar. Now, be sure to arrange it so that you're the, the white of the tie, so the, that the center line, I mean the line where it meets, is, in, is somewhat in the center. And for, this is for a reason. Because when you go on through, and up top, you start to form already two points, right here and here. Now when you flip it around, you flip the tie around, and go up, you can already see what it started to form. See? So you go round and then in. Now if you look, spread this open and this goes up like this. And if you tighten it quite a decent amount, you'll be able to. It takes a bit of fidgeting, but it's well worth it. It's well worth the look once you do achieve it. See? You have four points created. Now, if you need to, if you need to make the, the, the points a little bit more, more apparent, you can fold over any which spot in any part of it. But for this, I don't necessarily need to. So, there you have a pinwheel made. And you can wrap that around like always, pull on it if need to, to, to form the points a bit better, pull up, and there, you have the pinwheel made. Now to demonstrate, this doesn't work on a, every single striped tie, but it does work on most striped ties. I'm going to do it with this one.
Now, this is going to be a long video with this, but just so you repetition for emphasis. Repetition for emphasis. So, pull it around. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I gotta have it on this side. The reason why that is, is because if you go, you have to go towards the bottom. You have to go towards a certain side. Otherwise, it will create, instead of a pinwheel, it will create a box. And I'm not even quite sure if I'm on the right side right now, but we'll, we'll see once I do it. No, I'll form the pinwheel now. I will form the pinwheel. Okay. So, go in. Go up. Go around and in. Now this probably won't create a pinwheel. I have I've had difficulties with this one before, but we'll see. See now I need to this tie specifically. I need to if I do it straight, it won't look quite right. It won't look quite right. So I need to fold this tie just slightly, just to be able to make the pinwheel. To line the pinwheel up correctly. See? There you go. Pinwheel made. And do a bit of a tightening. And there you go. Now that was, now this can be fidgeted, you know, enough to be, you know, to have the proper pinwheel line up and everything like that. But just so you have an idea of what it's supposed to look like. See, I'm folding, see, I'm folding the tie. With this one, it seems as if I almost have to fold it completely in half to be able to get it right. And even up with the top one, to get it perfect. I, very, I practically need to fold this one almost right down the center in order to have them in order to have the things line right up but they will line up if you do it correctly to demonstrate yet another one now this one won't be the pinwheel but this will form an X because it's got a bit of a closer stripes pink tie You see how the stripes are close? I have a mirror right here, just to let you know. And this is not being done in my library, so there might be an interruption anytime soon. I'm actually quite happy I've gotten this much quiet. Uh, yep. And around. Now, by this point, you should probably see what be seeing what I'm doing. So. I'm on the right side, go in, Now look what happens here. It starts to form points instead of an X, instead of a proper X, I mean, instead of a proper pinwheel. Although I might be able to make a pinwheel out of this. So, oh, would you look at that? I have been able to make a pinwheel. Although it's not as readily apparent because you've got a lot of close colors uh, next to each other. So that last video cut out, uh, but you got the basic idea. 
Um, so, well, I think we're nearing closer to 10 minutes. Yeesh. This blog video has been a bit long. Hopefully you've endured it, though. Uh, as you can see, I've created the full pinwheel look. And it looks really quite unique. Um, so, if you like my video, uh, comment down below. Um, like it, do whatever, share it. Uh, hashtag true love not, or hashtag true love not, and then hashtag pinwheel on Instagram, or pinwheel not, or whatever. Uh, or Twitter and all those uh, social networks. But yeah, so that's pretty much the video. And hopefully you've had a good time. Hopefully you've endured it. Uh, you have yourself a wonderful day.